Alright guys, Check Rain 12 has just been released supporting A10 and A11 devices. And I will show you how to get it on Windows. Now it is worth mentioning that if you are on Mac or Linux, you can just download it directly from the Check Rain website. If you are on Windows, you will need a USB flash drive and a Windows computer. So the first step is to go here. Now, I will leave a link in the description. However, if you want to search this up on Google, go and do GitHub, search, and type in check Nix. And click on this link with the AS something. All right, click it, uh, two tags, 1.13, and it has just been updated about an hour ago to support this check ring. So click on that, save file, now after it has finished downloading, you want to drag it over to the desktop and you want to download a software called Belena Etcher. So over here you can, uh, you can just download it from this website and yep. Yeah. Now you want to insert your USB drive. Click. Okay, it will give up a bunch of errors for me, but uh, just X out of all of them there. All right, flash from file, go to desktop and uh, click the check next. And you will have this ISO. Now you can start flashing. It is completed. When you restart your computer, you will need to press the boot key. So um, depending upon which computer you have, your boot key will differ. So for me, I have a Dell computer, so it's going to be F12. But if you have one of these other computers, then um, press that boot key. I will link this web page down in the description. All right, I'm going to switch to my phone because I cannot natively screen record this. So on your Windows computer with the USB there, you want to shut down. So click the power button. and power and click shut down right there and it will shut your computer down once it shuts down you're going to have to reboot it and I'm going to spam F12 because that's my boot key and it depends upon which computer you have alright so now my computer is shut down so you want to reboot it And while it's on the boot thing, I'm just going to spam my boot key, which is F12, and it will go into here. Now, if you'll see, up here it says secure boot is on. Now if it's on, then it won't work, so um, you're going to have to turn the boot mode to off. Alright. So now once you're here, you want to go into the UEFI generic uh, flash disk. So once you're here, we'll show up this. We'll give you all of these things. And up here, hopefully it will zoom in. Nope, it won't. But anyways, uh, you want to click Alt F2 to go into check rain, and it will show up here. I'm going to uh, get my device over here and you want to plug it in so simply just plug it in alright so it will detect your device right there and you want to go to options now if you're on A11 you want to uh, go go down here and click that however I'm not so we're just gonna click start so right now it's putting my device into recovery mode now I can't really use, uh, I can't really go into DFU mode with one hand, so I'm going to cut this part. Now once I'm, once I've done what I've done, it's going to give you a load bar, and now it's in here, it's booting up, and you can see my iPad is going through the usual procedures. So it should be finished any moment now, and it's done. All right. So you can reboot your computer to reset, but now I'm on this. So I'm going to enter and trust, all right. So 
Now it's going to take a while for it to show up. Maybe... Mm, okay, it just showed up. So just click on this. And now you're jailbroken. You can install Cydia if you want, but that's not part of this tutorial. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.